Ready? Jump stock. I'm not catching you from there, Violet. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know. Oh, be careful. Yes. Oh, Duke was so happy. He went outside today. Duke was so happy. He went outside today. Duke was so happy. He went outside today. Hi, I'm Sarah McLaughlin. Will you be an angel for a helpless animal? Look, oh, you make you know? Can I get blue eyes? Mm-hmm. What the hell is this dude I'm sitting here for? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Let's start it like we normally would. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what's up, guys? My name is Damien. Uh, my name is Kyle. And I'm Alex. <laughs> we are Our Mind Center. We make short films and we review movies. And of course, the reason that you're seeing our faces so you guys can get a review. Well, not of course. What do you mean? We missed it last week. Okay, well, we're back. <laughs> we're back again, part two. We left you. We won't do it again, we promise. Our promises are clearly very shallow. Except for when you go to Germany now, and when I go to... Tonight we went to go see Strangers Pray at Night. This is the sequel to the first one. Alex, what is this one about? So, as the title... You know, indicates they're strangers. You know, random people that show up, and uh, I believe this one's the fourth, the second in the series. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's a family involved. You said something about a porn star. I said something. <laughs> Tell them. I would. I didn't go see. It. So this is actually the the moment I'd like to take. Uh, OMC has been struggling money wise. <laughs> And so, the reason I wasn't well, here for I'm this fine. film... Okay, well, they're fine. <laughs> I'm not okay. <laughs> so you went to the premiere, what'd you say? In the arms of the angel. Oh, By the way, we're gonna do this review. Yeah, I'm gonna, not, I didn't go see it. Actually, I'm poor. Alex, come back, come back. Yeah, okay. What we're gonna do, I think, would be fun in this review, we're gonna do a little different. So, since Alex hasn't seen the movie, what he could do from a third party perspective is ask me and Kyle questions about the movie, maybe on what we expected and if it was good or not as good, oh, yeah. and it'll be kind of like something like maybe that you guys would have asked us that maybe we didn't answer. Alex can. Alex can uh, ask me and Kyle I questions. I got your back. This the was not planned. Is back. You don't need to know too much, but this is the sequel to the movie with Liv Tyler and Scott Speedman. I forgot what year it was, but it was just called Strangers, about these three people who are terrorizing and who are trying to kill these this couple that lives in this house and this movie is no different as far as there's three strangers they are they are terrorizing a family and that's our movie it, it's just a sequel horror movie and that's it so alex you have seen the trailer you've seen it like maybe twice now right so i think uh, as as i remember <laughs> seeing the trailer i've never seen the trailer damn okay i haven't seen the trailer uh, so i guess <laughs> bro the clip I think a lot of what we say here with a with a tiny grain of salt. So the here we go, we're right, about. right off the back, we're gonna start out with a little bit and of an opener as far as like... Right off the bat? <laughs> you get it? You don't. No, I don't, I wasn't there. <laughs> oh, I thought you were about to give me a high Thanks thought. for reminding me! You do it with me. You do. Okay. Oh, but mine goes this way. <laughs> <laughs> we're not so, a geometrical channel, that's for sure. Did you like the movie? Did you have fun watching it? Uh, okay. Just kind of to start it off, because like whether you liked it or disliked it, did you have fun? In yeah, the but movie? I think this conversation is it's good. This is a good one to start off. That's a that's a great uh, question because me and me and Kyle are yeah. So here's the fence. <laughs> me and Kyle are on either side of it. Well, uh, listen. Okay, I will I will not say that I dislike the movie, mm -hmm. but I also won't say I like the movie. Uh, I did I did um, have fun with some parts of the movie. I did enjoy uh, a lot of it, mm -hmm. but I would say. That for me, the the negatives do outweigh the positives for me. Yeah, that it's hard. It is hard to argue that. And I don't think this movie is good enough for me to argue my side so heavily to where I'm like, what? You didn't like, like you didn't get it? But I think as far as a scary movie goes nowadays, there are some really unique things in here. And when it comes to a scary movie, 
Some of them are cool, because it's like, hey, that's realistic. Well, sure, maybe the rest of the movie and the plot points of the characters are not. So there's some scenes or moments where you're like, whoa, <laughs> he's going to run out of questions. I, I've never seen that in a, in a scary movie. But <laughs> as, as, as far as a, as, as a basis, I am, I am, I am, I, I, I liked it. Okay. There you go. I'm not. I'm not afraid to say. It. I'm not. I'm not afraid. To say it. I'm not afraid. Yeah. Even though I do like this movie, I I think I'm at the point where I'm so tired of giving movies leeway based on like, <laughs> oh well, it's this, so just like you know, don't yeah, care. Of course. Because I've seen some damn good scary movies. Yeah. I've seen some good ones that take every line I want them to walk, uh -huh. and they walk it like a, like they are Tyler. masters of a carnival. Yeah. And this movie is so all over the place. There's moments that are unique and yeah. but when it comes to acting, it's bad. It's yeah. bad across the board and the writing is bad with it. So both of those together and Alex made a joke about like referencing like a porn star. That is that is the level of acting we're talking about. Yeah. Where it's so empty and like they're ju just they're just basically the daughter, reading the script. She's not that bad. Yeah. Yeah. She's bad, but um <laughs> Okay, to be specific, they thought that the, or Damien said specifically that he thought the main guy actor oh, in the yeah. movie He's got to be. Has got to He's be got a it. porn star actor. I mean, actor. I might do and research later, don't so. know. <laughs> <laughs> How much you guys do the research and get back to uh, us. Let us, let us know in the, in the comments. comments. Is he a porn star? <laughs> so can we, do you, do you want to, this is weird, but maybe, maybe for this question, do you want to, or maybe for the rest of it, do you just want to go into spoilers? This isn't a highbrow movie. This isn't too crazy. Uh... Well, here, here, and we can just uh, like disclaimer. You sure? We're going into spoilers now. I haven't seen the movie, and I don't care. Do you? Give me a second. You can pause. Well, you're but, you're this good. works okay. You're pretty good at editing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. This is the spoiler side. Yeah. Of so it. if you if you really want to see Stranger's Prey <clears throat> at night, stop watching it because I think from we'll here on out, week. it's very hard for me to especially get it to Alex who is asking us these questions on why the, those moments are so yeah. unique or cool, and especially when it comes to directing because almost all of those cool shots or cool moments have to do when a character dies, almost every single time. And for me, the the cool directing thing is in that pool scene. It's wow, like phenomenal. they light it and it's all neon. They have these palm trees all around it, and the main character has just killed one of the killers. So you're like, okay, Dang. hell yeah, do it. And the bag head guy, who's probably like the main stranger, is walking at him. It's all neon lit. He's dragging his axe across the floor, and you can see him pass like puddles and the neons mm -hmm. reflecting off of it. Oh, and they and fight the in a pool, and the camera goes like up and down, but not in like a cheesy, like whenever the character yeah. gets thrown under, the camera goes with him. It's really weird and it's interesting and the music gets muffled whenever they go underwater and they're playing Total Eclipse of the Heart. That scene is dope. My favorite part of the movie is, and, and it is like a great, it's directed well. Mm -hmm. it's, that's why, that's the topic we're on, I'm still on top. And, <laughs> but, um, so they get in a, the, the father and son are in their van and they're trying to get help, but they hit something in the road, which mm -hmm. was never explained what that was, kind of bothered just, me. Yeah, no. But they got in a wreck and like... The dad's injured or whatever. He's got like a piece of wood, the, the porch, in him, <laughs> and like he, his son goes out to find the daughter or, or whatever. But the the killer, the main killer, comes uh, to the car and he opens the door, sits down, and just shuts the door. And he's just sitting beside the victim, just sitting there, mm -hmm. you know. And then like he looks over at the radio, and he just turns it on, and it's like static. And then he changes it changes the station, and he's looking for a song, and then he finds a song, and he leans back, and he's just listening. And then the guy, the victim, is just talking to the him. The entire time. Like, freaking yeah, out, trying yeah. to pull the thing out of him, right. and you're like, and so, so he, he shuts up for just a second, and he leans back over and turns the radio up. And I was just like, that's fucking, yeah. uh, that's good, yeah. that's funny. Like, as far as villains and horror films go, that's kind of like the, the staple of coolness. Yeah. Yeah. And I think... You, I don't even think you have to ask us the the next one. It's just the killers in this movie are the best part. They really are. They they don't have a motive, which is dope. Because what is more scary than a, than a than a person who who is killing people with no motive at all? Don't do it. Whoa, Rick. Okay, what was that? Death. What kind? Instant. 
I've run out of my questions. If you guys have any, please send in your tweets. We'll set, set up a subreddit for you to... <laughs> <laughs> we'll have one of our guys, we'll have Dooku set up a yeah, subreddit yeah, for us. Real fast. Dooku! Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, but let's, uh, uh what? Rate, rate uh, this bad boy. So I'm gonna... Let's rate this bad boy. So guys, I think the best things that are working for this movie are the killers, which are scary, and they're scary when you leave yeah. the theater. Because when you think about it in hindsight, if you're at a house, like, I think if you lived at, like, we live in an apartment, I guess that's kind of a luxury for us, but if you live at home, be afraid, because, like, anybody can knock on your door. It's like 11 o'clock at night, you hear, like, something hits your window, and you're like, huh. this movie, luckily, does at least that. The acting is not great. The directing is unique in some parts, and in an hour and twenty movie, hour and twenty movie, <laughs> hour and twenty minute movie, moments and scenes is kind of all I need. I can watch that on YouTube. I don't need to play the whole movie again. I can show all my friends and be like, "Dude, you want to see a really cool directed scene?" And I think, yeah, as far as rating wise, comparing it to another movie like Winchester or like Annabelle, I think I'm I'm right there in the sweet spot because I don't think it's a masterclass like Annabelle is, <clears throat> to where they take a lot of cliches but they handle it. This movie is bogged with cliches of dumb characters and mm -hmm. stupid decisions and bad acting and sometimes not really funny B-movie shit. It's kind of just bad. I think I'm just going to go like 6.5. Uh, 6.5 hatchets out of 10. The scenes that are good are really, really good. Um, it's directed pretty well for the most, mm. for the most part. Um, the acting is not good, of course. The music is pretty good. Um, not much of a score there. A little bit. Yeah, Swells yeah. and stuff like that. But Just the normal high but it's good. violins. It's good, and, yeah. yeah. It's not It's not bad. Um, but I don't know. I wouldn't watch it again, but I would show people uh, the full scene. Yeah, I think that's, that's yeah. But um, I don't know. I, I'm going to rate it like a 5.8. Hmm. Uh, oh, did you give a... Hatchets. Oh, I didn't hear it. Sorry. Uh, 5.8, um... <clears throat> no. 5.8... <laughs> baseball bats. Ah! Out of 10. For the, for the pool scene and the, the car scene. Nice. For the yeah. And, uh, since I didn't see the movie, I will rate this experience as a commentator in this. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was... It was longer than expected, mm -hmm. uh, but I think there was some good information given about the film. Yeah, uh, I think you can edit it. There's definitely some funny. fat that could be. <laughs> yeah, there's some fat that could be trimmed, but... Uh, what? <clears throat> How bad are you? But I'm going to give it a 7.3 uh, burlap sacks out of 10. Stashes. I could have said porn oh. stars, but then I'd have to look up <laughs> porn, porn stars. <laughs> I said porn oh, stars. I said porn stars. a porn star. <laughs> Well, hey, guys, thank you so much for watching. I know we say it every single time, kind of, but it's because it is still true. These next couple of months, there's some bangers coming out. Next week, I think we are all, I think probably pretty much the same amount of excitement, but uh, Tomb Raider. I'm not we get to go see that, and I'm pretty excited. I'm excited to talk about video game movies, their like, background. I'm excited to talk about whether or not this one... We might, we might do like a longer thing for that. I think so. That'd be cool. It'd be cool to do like a... Like a whole, just talking about a video, video game films. Oh yeah, a video about all about it. Never played a Tomb Raider. Never seen a Tomb Raider. Never played a Tomb Raider. <laughs> never ate in a Tomb Raider before. I never drank Tomb Raider. I don't even know what a Tomb Raider is. <laughs> but apparently we're going to the moving pictures to go see one. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see me like this. I've never played Tomb Raider Cradle of Life. <laughs> Leave a like! <laughs> Leave a like, subscribe to us please, and also, which I kind of have always been forgetting, hit the little, like, the bell button so you guys get notifications, so you can even tell when we post a video. Yeah, hit Leave the Leave a bell like, button. subscribe, please put on your notifications, and until next time, guys. <laughs>
You debating it? Sure. It's fine is a weird way to say that. It's fine. No, it's fine. I don't need one. It's fine. <laughs> you want I'm one. I'm fine. Sure, 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 sure. It's fine. <laughs> Wow, look at your tattoo. Do you want your ah, I saw, hey, hey, come show the audience the tattoo. Damien, you want Bud Light and Miller Light? Ah, Good job, guys, everybody. Get out of here. And Miller Light?